that sounds so stupid, but remember this whole this whole series is gonna be a shopaholic trying to shop less, so a lot of this is gonna be stupid. Shopping already feels different. New H and M and Anthropology, a Mary Poppins skirt. Like me relearning how to shop, it makes you look bigger than you are, frumpier than you are. But this is not classic at all. Hello, welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited because it's my first year of five finds wrap up for January, um, and it's also like a winter wonderland outside. So it's so white that I have to good lighting for the first time because it's just like oh, white all over. Okay, so year of five finds. So if you don't know what I'm talking about, I have a video where I explained my whole year of this year is to buy only five things a month, up to five things. I don't have to buy five things, um, but I can buy up to five things. And one of my last videos was a little check-in video. And so I talked a little bit about how shopping already feels different, which is great. I wanted it to feel different. I want to be able to stop and really think about my purchases and think about, is it worth is this worth taking up like one of my five things for the month? So that is constantly in my mind whenever I'm considering purchasing something. I had come off of doing a no buy in December and so I did feel like, wow, I haven't bought anything for a little bit. I want to get back into H&M and anthropology. So I have to say I was a little bit nervous to go in impulse shopping because I didn't want to like all of a sudden find all these good things. Um, and not be able to make up my mind. That sounds so stupid, but remember this whole this whole series is gonna be a shopaholic trying to shop less, so a lot of this is gonna be stupid. Okay, so let's get into my five finds for the month of January. So um, this month was a little bit of like me relearning how to shop. I don't have, I've never tracked it before, but I don't, I have a pretty good success rate with not having to return a lot of things. I struck out big time. I mean, I do have, five things to show you, which is great. But I also do have like just as many things that need to be returned because I was so excited about them. I thought they were gonna be perfect um, and they were a fail. If you saw my last video, um, it was my thrift haul with Kirrington. So my friend Kirrington, who has a YouTube channel now, I'll link her channel below and I'll link that thrifting video below. Um, and so two of those things I've already found in last week's video with Kirrington. So you can watch that, but the two things that I found, um, if you haven't seen that video, is the first one is this polka dot skirt. So the thing that I've learned through shopping with Carrington, because Carrington is probably a size zero or a two, and I'm like an eight or a 10. So, you know, when we go to thrift together, like she's on one side or on one rack and I'm on another rack. What I've learned from her is that sizing in thrifting with like vintage stuff or just even stuff from like 10, 15 years ago, sizing is different and sizes change and brands have totally different sizing. My point is that this skirt was in the size two to four section. I am not a two to four, um, but this is where it was at. And so she actually tried this on. It was too big for her. She handed it to me and this ended up fitting me perfectly. And I love it. So it's just a long skirt. The interesting thing is there's no, and this might've been why it was in the wrong size. Um, there is no tag on the inside of it whatsoever. I even looked down to see if there's like washing instructions. Cause sometimes you can sort of gather where it's from, from that. And I literally think this is a handmade piece that someone's mom made years ago and just got rid of. For being homemade by a person, it's well made, but for being like retail, I don't think it's that well made. And so this was only, it was a skirt, so I think it was $3.99. So there's like five different panels of polka dots going down and there's just a zipper in the back and it's super long. Um, when we went shopping, I hadn't yet seen Mary Poppins. Um, and then I saw the movie like the next day and I was like, I want all the polka dot things. And I was like, oh my God, I just thrifted this skirt. It looks like Mary Poppins. I want to wear this with a bow tie and like a caped blazer. Um, and clean for my children and be like, spit spot. Uh, because that, by the way, was like my favorite movie of all time, possibly. I've seen it twice in the theater already and I will be buying it immediately when it comes out. And so now I have to me what feels like a Mary Poppins skirt. So I'm excited about this. I might do an upcoming video, um, with all of these finds showing you how I style them because I, ha I think that would be so fun with a graphic tee, um, a blazer, just a sweater. Um, that I think this is a good transition piece from winter to spring, but also summer it could work, fall it could work. I really like that piece a lot. Okay, so that was $3.99. Conscious, cheap, 
check love it okay so the next thing is a belt <laughs> now this I don't know this is sort of 90s and I looked at the tag it's Chinese laundry um, I mean it was 99 cents I really like this closure right here um, it was broke when I bought it um, but I fixed it so the bumming thing when I tried it on I didn't realize because um, I had like a lot of bulky layers on when I tried this on in the store um, this belt fits more like hip for me and no one is wearing a belt on their hip but for like my natural waistline to wear this see I love the way that belt closure looks right there this I'm like whatever it's in the back I don't care <laughs> um, but I love the look of that so if I want to wear this at my waist level it's way too big but my husband does have a hole punch and so I have to figure out if I can I mean I'm gonna have to punch it in like way lower and so it might be strange for 99 cents it was worth it for me to get it and fix it myself and then I think I'll just have to do like the belt like industrial belt punch for that um, but 99 cents I love it those are two finds great oh this is also a find so this is from H&M I went into H&M it's sort of like a chenille um, super super soft when the gal was checking me out this is the only thing I bought there she was like oh my gosh this is so soft and I was like I know it's so cozy um, when I went there I tried on a handful of things I tried on a skirt and I tried on a couple other sweaters and I can guarantee you that if I was not doing this year of five finds, I absolutely would have, without a doubt, I would have bought um, this cute little beige sweater that had little hearts on it. It was six dollars. I probably would have bought that without it even like, I mean, it fit me well and I liked it, but it was six dollars. So I would have been like, absolutely, I'm buying this. So I do think about that sweater often and I'm like, oh, I wonder if it's still there. It's only six dollars. Maybe I can buy it for February. Uh, I really did like it, but it just, you know, this I thought I would get more use out of. Um, and I just, I love turtlenecks. This is so cozy and a little bit more oversized. Um, but there was also a skirt there that I think was $18 or $16. And it was um, from that um, collaboration that H&M did with a wallpaper um, textiles designer. Um, I actually bought, it was like Morrison Company, I think is the brand that they collaborated with. I actually have a long button front and dress that I bought from that collaboration because um, it reminded me of my own personal blue and white wallpaper that I have in my bathroom. And I love that dress so much. It's one of my favorite like last year impulse purchases that I bought. The skirt was very similar but different to that pattern, to that look and feel, right? And it had a waistband on it that was elastic and was like a contrast waistband. Um, so that was kind of fun. And I tried it on with this sweater and thought, oh, I would absolutely buy this whole entire outfit. Like this sweater was $29.99, by the way. Um, that skirt was on sale, right? So it's a good deal. I already know that I love the other dress that I bought from that collection. Um, but I stopped and I thought, and I was like, I could probably get the same look if I wore that dress with the sweater over it and a belt to like get the contrast trim at the waistband. Um, so that's what I did. This was good. I didn't buy that sweater. I didn't buy the skirt. Um, and the other things that I bought were either itchy or too oversized or I just didn't like enough. So that was how I rationalized my H&M shopping trip and came out with just this, um, which feels good. Okay, so next up is the purchase from Zara. Now, last year I bought a long, 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 long black sweater cardigan, uh, like a sweater duster from Zara. And I loved it so much. It made it to one of my favorite finds that I bought last year. Um, I knew that I wanted a thicker, more cozy, chunky, gray sweater. And so I've been looking for a long gray sweater duster, which is proving to be harder than that sounds like. Um, so I bought this one from Zara. I love the look of it so much. Two things that I don't like about it. The first thing is it's itchy. And so no way, no how. Like there's all these fine little hairs and they are super itchy. Um, it is made with wool. Um, it was $119, but I think I bought it um, for like $79, I want to say. It was on some type of Zara sale. Um, the other thing is that there is a super casual um, drop shoulder that just does not work on my body. And it's also slightly a little bit of a dolman sleeve. So for sure, if you're like me and your body is a little bit broader or you're a little bit curvier, sometimes that drop sleeve, just, just where the stitching is down here, it just is not great. It makes you look bigger than you are, frumpier than you are. And for me, it's just a no-go. And I think that if I weren't doing this year of five finds, I think that if it, was, if it fit me well, 
but it was itchy, I think I would have forgiven it and I would have said, oh, I'll wear it with a long sleeve shirt underneath because I love the look. Or if it was super, super cozy, like my Barefoot Dreams cardigan that I love, um, I would have forgave like the drop sleeve and I would have been like, well, I'll just wear it around home. Like it's super comfortable. Like I don't care what it looks like on as much. I can forgive that a little bit because it's so comfortable. Um, that would have been the old me too. I would have said that and forgave that. But the fact that this is, it's itchy and it's also just not attractive on me. It's a no-go in those two big ways, and so I am not keeping it. Um, but also, for the record, I would not have kept it if it was one but not the other. Like, this year, I need I need it to be all the things in one piece, and this is none of those things for me, unfortunately. Okay, and then, good old Instagram. Um, I talk about how we're sold to all the time on Instagram, and it can kind of drive me nuts sometimes, but if you follow people who post about good stuff it's okay and i follow um happy go curly and she is fantastic i really enjoyed following her and she's so sweet i feel like she's become an instagram friend um she posted about these beautiful things um from j crew these are a beautiful mule i forget how much they originally were but these were 19 dollars. the scary thing about this when i purchased them is that they were final sale um but i was like I know my size in a shoe and I like the style and how can this go wrong, right? And it didn't go wrong. I'm keeping them. They're one of my five things I'm so excited about. I love these. Um, and they also, which this looks black again, but it's navy. This goes together very nicely. Now, the thing that has confused, so there's navy fur in here and it's like this menswear pinstripe, which you know I love. I've been trying to find a penny loafer for like the whole of last year, like a proper penny loafer. Um, and I said it was important to me that it have like the actual slot for the penny. A lot of loafers these days are new and streamlined and they don't have that, which is really classic. Um, and so I love that, but this is not classic at all. And the fact that, um, this is like a menswear stripe and the fur, this is actually very substantial, very well made. Um, this is a beautiful shoe for $19. I'm very happy with it. So thank you, Ailsa. I don't know if she watches my YouTube videos. I know she sees me on Instagram from time to time. Um, Ailsa from Happy Go Curly, she always has great recommendations and like real, like everyday style, nothing too crazy. So I love it. And these are a great find that I now have and she has as well. So these are beautiful. Okay. So before we get to my final fifth find for the month, let's talk about another fail that I have to return from Topshop. This actually makes me so mad because this should have been perfect. It's a sweater most of the time, unless something is itchy. Um, I don't have to return a sweater even though I'm returning that one from Zara. This makes me so sad because it looks so perfect on the website. Guys, this is like three sweaters thick. If you've seen me talk about it on Instagram at length, I've already talked about it. How pretty is a sweater? This is like everything I would want in a sweater. So first of all, there's great colors in here. These are all lipstick shades I would wear, burgundy, red, and this beautiful pink. Um, with a little bit of gray running through it. Here's the problem. This is like two sweaters thick for sure. I talked about it great like on Instagram, like the difference between Intarsia and Fair Isle. So I won't go into that here. I'll save you. But basically this is two sweaters thick. There's a gray sweater for like the inside stitching. And then there's all this Fair Isle happening. So up here, it's like three sweaters thick. So first of all, it's so thick that I don't know that I could wear this out like in a restaurant. I'd probably be sweating. Um, but also, if you look at the seam detail, like from the back of the sweater is just one sweater. Um, but when you wear this, it's so thick and bulky through here because it's like three sweaters thick through the arm. It's intense. And it looks like you're a linebacker. It kind of looks huge and it's it actually stands like that when you're wearing it because it's so thick that it doesn't know how to just like relax and take shape and be more casual so this 100 has to go back i think this was 95 dollars yeah 95 dollars um i bought a size six us six um and it just is not it's not working so that has to go back and i'm super bummed all right, so you ready for my fifth and final find that was actually a success? If you follow me over on Instagram, you probably have already seen this. Um, I follow a local store that I've shopped at a lot. Um, it's called Marie Lamode. So I had seen this for a while and been like, 
I really like this. It's just a big cozy sweatshirt um, that says Big Sur on it. And you might know my husband and I used to live in California and we have actually camped at Big Sur many times. I really love Big Sur and um, my kids have been there a few times too. And the great thing that I wasn't expecting is this is so cozy and fleecy on the inside. It's like a low grade um, like fleece, which is like a flatter fleece, which is great. Um, the other thing that I wasn't expecting as well is that this brand is the Parks Project. And so if you don't live near Marie Lamode or they do have an online website, so you can shop their website. Um, but you can also go to the Parks Project and see way more styles. But their goal is to fund um, national and state parks. And so this is great in the fact that, you know, you're helping give back to um, the national parks and state parks throughout the U.S. And so I think that that's great. I went to their website and I was just really impressed with um, the style and the graphics that they have on their shirts, but also the quality. This is so soft and um, comfortable. And I, as soon as I bought this, I wore it that day. Um, and then I wore it like the whole entire weekend at home. And that's when you know something is a good find when you want to like wear it immediately because you love the style or you love the comfort of it. Um, but especially if it's both. I'm just so happy with this because it has meaning to me. And so it's like, it's a personal place that I love. And so what's, What's better than like buying something that has, you have a personal connection to, happens to be cozy, you bought it from a local store, so you're supporting local and supporting a local business owner that you know, but it's also like supporting the national and state parks, so it's like a bigger thing. I can't think of a more perfect piece that fits um, all of the bill on all of those things and ticks all those boxes. That's so fantastic. So I'm really happy with this one in particular. But that's it, so thank you so much for watching and I will see you in another video real soon. Bye.